I'm Dr. Jeffrey Hall. I'm the director and founder of the OrthoEd Institute, as well as a practicing orthodontist. The OrthoEd Institute has been around now for over five years, and its aim has been to teach general dentists orthodontics, but not in the conventional way, but to teach them sound orthodontic principles. What we found in the past was there was no adequate training in orthodontics. There was no training in the undergraduate years, and hence most general dentists felt uncomfortable in doing orthodontics in their practice. So our aim is to give every general dentist the knowledge and the confidence to be able to treat the majority of patients in their practice with conventional orthodontics, be it fixed appliances, be it early treatment, or even in the ever-growing area of a line of therapy. My orthodontic journey started following my graduation as a general dentist back in 83, and I went over to America and did my orthodontic training at the very famous University of Pennsylvania back in 1988 to 1990. From that time onwards, I've been on a continuous learning journey in this area of orthodontics. It's been a total passion of mine. And as a result of that, I've been one of the international lecturers for many of the international companies, such as GAC, such as Ormco, and a lot of the aligner companies as well. And so this passion for learning and ultimately the passion for teaching has come to a head with forming the OrthoEd Institute. That's what I love doing. I love imparting knowledge. I love educating my peers. And also, over the many years, I started many different study clubs, including the famous Seattle Study Club here in Australia and also the New Horizons Study Club. So it's not just in the area of orthodontics that I have a passion for teaching, but also in the whole area of general dentistry. I think it's our job as specialists to improve the knowledge in every area of dentistry for the general dental practitioner and ultimately for the patients. Originally, our style of learning through the Ortho Institute was purely face-to-face -face training, and that would take over 25 days worth of face-to-face -face education with continued mentoring and support. But what we've done over the last few years is actually added a live stream component for those people who find it difficult to travel, who find it difficult to attend a face-to-face -face course, whether they live in WA, they live in New Zealand, they could be young mothers that find it difficult to leave home or just want to reduce their costs of travel. So we now offer both a combined face-to-face -face training program as well as the live streamed option. But either way, every participant is able to have mentoring and full support from myself and our other specialists that are involved in the OrthoEd Institute. And we also make sure that they have hands-on training experience as well, whether they are in the face-to-face -face course or we have dedicated days for the live stream cohorts as well. I think everybody would know that the orthodontic sector is exploding now, probably as a result of a lot of B2C marketing such as Smile Club Direct, et cetera. And through companies such as Invisalign, every patient now understands about orthodontics. The problem that we've got is it's still a closed shop amongst many general practitioners, amongst many of my orthodontic specialists who refuse to expand the knowledge to our colleagues. So what we're finding is there's a thirst for knowledge in this orthodontic field. There's also coming up a need for general dentists to be doing orthodontics in their practice because patients are asking for it. They're asking them to treat their, themselves because what we also know is that patients trust their general dentist. And as a result of that, they would prefer to be treated by their general dentist. And we also know that 70% of cases are very easy cases to treat and should actually be treated by a general dentist. No different to the areas of endodontics or the areas of periodontics. There are cases that, yes, need to be referred to the specialist, but the majority of cases should be managed in the realm of a general dental practice. The key is understanding what they can do, understanding their limitations, and then 
being able to treat those patients who are this low-lying fruit and to treat them well using sound orthodontic principles. And that's where we come in. We want to give the general dentist the general dentist, the knowledge and the passion to treat those, those patients. I think it's every specialist's job to mentor their colleagues, to provide their knowledge and pass it on to their colleagues, whether it be other orthodontists or other general dentists. It doesn't matter. That is what we should be doing. That's part of our ADA code of ethics. In orthodontics, though, because general dentists have never learnt anything about orthodontics, they feel uncomfortable. And for them to feel confident in doing orthodontics for their patients, they require a mentor. They require somebody to hold their hand through the initial processes to make sure that they are doing this in the right way. And what we find is once these dentists have done their first five or 10 patients, then they can start doing more and more and providing a better service to the community. And this is even more important in the country areas where specialists aren't even available to treat these type of patients. We were very fortunate to recently receive the ADIA award for the best emerging manufacturer or service provider in the dental industry. Considering that we've been in existence for just five years, it was an enormous honour to receive this award and to be acknowledged for the hard work that we have done over the last five years in providing an extensive and great program to general dentists. What it's done for us is to bring this award back to my staff and all the people who work at the Ortho Institute, and it's given us even more passion to go ahead and make our course better and provide a better service to each and every dentist in Australia and New Zealand. So I have to thank the ADIA for providing us with that award and to myself and to all of the people at the Ortho Ed Institute, we say a big thank you for acknowledging all of our hard work and it just makes us work even harder. <music> <laughs>